Well, it's finally arrived, uh, thanks to many, many delays with uh, postage in Australia and I guess everywhere in the world. I finally got the Surface Duo 2. Um, I've done a little intro video on this already, so this is the box. Now, Microsoft have given us this Surface Duo 2. And in fact, they've given both me and my brother Matt, we work together, they've given us both a Surface Duo 2 to try out in a program that we call, or they call, the Surface Power Duos, which is pretty cool. But have a look at this box. They've actually personalized the box for me here. They've got a picture or a drawing of me on the box and they've got my name on it here, which is it's awesome. So I'm just gonna get this uh, box out of the delivery box. And so this is a bit of an unusual unboxing. You can see on the side there that it says do more with two. Uh, hence the, you know, the fact that Matt and I work together, I think we're a really good fit for this program. Plus we're very interested in Microsoft technologies and we both work as trainers in this space. So um, that's why Microsoft have given this to us. So I take off the, the outer box there and there's Matt and I, the power duo. So uh, this is really cool. I'm really interested in this phone because um, I do think that the future of phones is two screens. I, you know, I don't know that this phone is necessarily the one for everybody just yet, but I'm really intrigued to see how it's gonna work. So let me just figure out how to open up this box. All right. Cool, so I've got a little bit of a letter here from Jane Mackerel. Hey Jane, love your work. Um, just welcoming us to the, the Power Duos campaign. So Microsoft have sent a bunch of these devices out to people in Australia to, to try out. Um, so I'll read that stuff later. But the th key thing that I wanted to get to is this little box underneath here, the Surface Duo. Pretty small box actually from what I was expecting. Come in a big package, right? Um, so I'm gonna open that up. Looks pretty nice. What did they give me? They gave me the, uh, the Glacier, the white version of that. Whew. Okay. Taking things apart. A little bit more. All right, bit of an extra pack down here as well for me. I might just get rid of that big box there. Definitely be keeping that box on the, uh, in the nostalgia shelf somewhere, probably with all my old tablets. All right. Oh, yep, so this is the uh, Surface Slim Pen 2. Awesome, and looks like it's in the corporate packaging, which is rather interesting. So I believe, I'm seeing Matt's version of this. Matt got his a lot earlier. He lives in Queensland, and they don't have the problems with the postal service like we do down here. But I'm gonna open that up in a second, all right. He grabbed my knife. So yeah, he, he got his uh, probably three or four days ago. And I know that this comes with the charging base, this little package that they've given us here. So I don't know if you can see that. That's the, oh, the Surface Slim Pen 2. That actually looks more like the Surface Slim Pen 1 than I thought it would. And this is the little charging cradle for it, um, which will be a nice little thing to have. So, got a USB-C cable in the box as well for charging the pen. And just gonna try and take the plastic off on this. So there's a little tab here, just pull on that and Ooh, nice, awesome, all right. Uh, so that's the pen. Let me get rid of the box and dealio for that. Um, so the Surface Slim Pen 2 will uh, work, of course, with all of the other surfaces, but it has haptic feedback on the Surface Pro 8 and the Laptop Studio. It does not have haptic feedback on the, uh, the Surface Duo 2, but it's still going to work here, as, along with all of the other Surface pens as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the box here. Put the machete away today and just use the normal knife. All right. It's exciting. I've been waiting for this. Now, I've been using a Galaxy Note 2, uh, 10, sorry, for 20, in fact, for 
quite a while now and I do love the Galaxy Note series of phones, nice big phones. Um, I'm really interested to see how this one is going to work. Um, being a, quite a bigger phone really, it already feels a, a fair bit heavier. It feels really nice though in your hand. Um, let me figure out how to, I guess, oh yeah, it's kind of like paper. Weird, it's not plastic. It's like rice paper. Awesome. Oh, this thing looks beautiful. What an awesome phone. Okay. So I'm going to just take all the bits off that. That really does look magnificent, hey? Um, although I'm already fingerprinting it as I expected, but um, that hinge looks as beautiful as I thought it would. Um, it looks like a really interesting phone. I'm most interested to see how it works in one-handed use, right? Um, like that. Because, you know, this is a little bit complicated and I've seen a lot of reviews out there that are sort of saying, it's rubbish, it's terrible, have to use two hands to use it. Uh, I've seen other people going, hey, this is intriguing and interesting. And um, it's, it's really interesting how, how split, how dual the, the opinions are on this particular device. Um, I think that it will demand a real change in the way we use phones, which I don't think is a bad thing because really, you know, the relationship we have with our phones, I think is pretty toxic. I know it is for me. Um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a big time waster. You know, we do all those sorts of things like doom scrolling, social media feeds, all that sort of stuff, reading the news on our phones, which doesn't really make us more productive, certainly doesn't make us happier. Um, but we sort of develop these habits because, you know, the, the thing is a, such an important part of our lives. So what I'm hoping is that this little duo here can be the catalyst for me to make some changes to the way I deal with my mobile device. Um, I'm hoping to spend a lot more time reading and doing things like that, learning rather than doom scrolling and, um, you know, looking at social media feeds, which uh, just never seem to change. So. Um, and the news, oh, what an awful place that is. Anyway, so that's the, the Surface Duo. I'm gonna be bringing you a lot of information about this phone over the next couple of months because unlike a lot of those reviewers out there who just simply picked it up and went, ew, uh, it's got two screens, um, I'm actually gonna sp spend a lot of time just trying to learn how to use this in a different way and seeing if it can actually fit into my workflow and in fact, for me to adapt my workflow to take advantage of the change that's required to make this really work because um, yeah, I mean this is the big problem right if I, I get a phone that's quite different to my existing phone you know I'm just going to go I don't, it doesn't work like my old phone I'm not going to do that we're going to spend a lot of time with this we're going to try and do new things and discover new ways of working uh, with this phone and try and improve our our lives with it as well so so if you haven't subscribed yet, join us on the journey, um, hit subscribe, um, tell us what you think about the Surface Duo, what you're interested to know about it in the comments below. Again, we're going to be with this thing long term, so I'm going to be bringing you a lot of videos on this. In fact, both Matt and I are going to be involved in this because we are, you know, according to Microsoft, we're a power duo, so um, uh, he's got one as well and, and we'll, be, um, we'll be bringing you as much information as we can. So um, thanks and uh, we'll see you next week.